people in the market right now are doubling their cash as Bitcoin is crashing down. And I want to show you exactly how it is not rocket science. It's something that you can do right now as well. And it's the only way that I trade. I've been trading like this for four years. So I've done it for a very, very long time. And I want to break down for you how this works, because this honestly stares you dead in the face. And it all comes down to this one quote that I remember hearing a long time ago, which is that in these markets, bulls make money, bears make money, pigs get slaughtered. In this video, you're going to stop being a pig if you are one right now. Don't take offense to it. Let's just jump straight into this because we are going to turn into savages by the end of this one. What am I talking about? This is where you can short Bitcoin, which means that as it's dropping, you can make money on the price going down. Now, if you already know about this, you don't need to watch this video, but I'm going to show you exactly how it works. And it all boils down to this video that I made, which is a 51 minute free guide on exactly how I trade Bitcoin for absolute, absolute beginners. Go watch that video. It's going to be linked on the top left as well, top right even. Uh, go ahead and check it out and then come right back to this one. But the key thing I want to show you right here is that you can actually sell Bitcoin, which you don't already own, and promise to buy it back ideally at a lower price. And if Bitcoin does end up dropping, you make a profit. And what does that mean? Well, you know, what we're talking about here is that when we're in a downtrend, you can sell Bitcoin and effectively, for lack of a better word, this is not what you're doing, but so that you understand it, I'm going to use the word bet that Bitcoin is going to drop lower. And people actually do this, for example, in reaction rallies, like what happened right here, you know, as Bitcoin is trending up, the general idea is that I'm sorry, as Bitcoin is trending down, the general idea is that if we start to get a reaction rally moving up, we're probably going going to rise up into resistance zones and then drop lower, right? We've been doing this constantly. We rise up into resistance zones and drop lower. And this is one of the key styles of trading that I am going to be looking at doing in this market. I was already looking at doing it. I was actually very, very close to entering a short position on Bitcoin right here, but it didn't quite rise up to enter that position. I was only about 1% away from entering, which would have been massive because if we take a look at the drop that came off this level, just from the high that Bitcoin set to its local low, that's an 11% drop. And the beauty of this is that what you're doing here is essentially you're buying Bitcoin with leverage and then immediately selling it. And so, uh, you know, if you bought, say, I'm sorry, if you sold, say, you know, one Bitcoin, you might have applied, say, two times leverage, three times leverage. Let's just use, let's use five times leverage. I think five is a fairly sensible number for this range. If Bitcoin then drops by 11%, you would make 11 times five. You would make the drop percentage times five because that's the leverage you've applied and that's a 55 percent gain which in itself is really really cool but if you measure the drop down to where we are right now and you multiply say minus 32 percent by five now you're looking at a plus 150 percent profit because again whatever percentage the market drops by you're going to be profiting 5x of that right down here if we look at a minus 21 percent drop that is a 105% profit, a plus 100% gain would double your money. This is what people are doing in these markets right now. And really all you need to do in order to identify these opportunities is look at where resistance is on the chart. And there's a lot of different ways you can do that. You guys already know I love to use the exponential moving average ribbon. If you don't know about that, then type this into the YouTube search bar right now. Pause the video and go and watch this. There's a little bit of learning you're going to have to do. But the reason I'm telling you to do this stuff is that this shit actually works. This is actually stuff that works. If you've been watching the channel and you've been subscribed, you're going to know about how I was warning you guys about these opportunities as well in this market. Uh, and so, you know, this is very, very crucial information to have. Uh, you know, if I was another that YouTuber here just trying to give you temporary hopium, I would tell you that you don't have to do anything and just hold on to your Bitcoin. But I'm not doing that. I'm telling you that there's actual stuff that you need to learn. And lucky for you, it's all free. So please do check it out. If you really do want to change things up right now, uh, watch this video, watch my EMA video, because really what this is showing us is a display of momentum. And that means that uh, if the trend is bearish, the momentum is going to be above the chart, showing us that, you know, if we manage to rise into these uh, momentum indicators, we're probably going to be getting rejected. And of course, since we entered the downtrend, it's had a 100% success rate for us. Every time we managed to rise up into the ribbon, we found rejections very very often sometimes big rejections sometimes not so much but most recently it was this rejection right here that actually triggered the massive waterfall sell-off and of course we can see this we can observe this on smaller time frames right if we look at this on the four hour time frame uh you know we were getting quite a few rejections over here again where if you're just planning on entering a short position every time there is a spread meaning you can make out each individual line because you got to keep in mind these are averages of the price right and so if the price doesn't trade much like in this range 
range, the price isn't fluctuating much, we lose the spread later on. It's a lagging indicator, so it takes a little bit of time, but we lose the spread. Losing the spread means that you can't see each individual line. There is no spread. The lines are basically in the same place. When there is a spread, if you're looking at entering a short position, you can, again, let's just say you're using 5x from high to low, trade this down. That's a minus 9% drop. 45% profit. Again, on this occasion, from high to low, minus 9% drop, 45% profit. And again, minus 7% drop, that's a 35% profit. We're just multiplying this number by 5x. If you're wondering how we do this, I'm using the platform Bybit. This is the same exchange that I've been using for years and I'm partnered up with them. I absolutely love them to bits. You can trade the way I'm describing right here on Bybit. And again, I outline for you exactly how to do that. All you gotta do is type how to trade four flies into the YouTube search bar or just click on the I on the top right of the screen. Uh, and I'm showing you exactly how to use this platform right here. Uh, if you do wanna sign up to it, the great thing about this is that you're gonna get uh, up to four thousand one hundred dollars for free when you sign up using my link in the description so obviously everyone's lost a bunch of cash in this market and to get an extra four thousand one hundred dollars for free is a killer killer deal and all you have to do is sign up using my link and make your first deposit obviously they're trying to entice you to trade on this platform and this is where i've got to interject and say look you really have to know what you're doing if you're trading on this because the flip side to what i'm talking about is that yes you could enter a 5x trade where you plan to trade the downside but if bitcoin manages to rise by anything more than 20 percent, which is quite high i mean you know we obviously didn't get anything close to that but if it does again your losses are being multiplied by five and so if you're effectively trying to I think the price of Bitcoin is going to go down, so I'm selling it. If it ends up trending in the opposite direction, whatever percentage it trends in the wrong direction by, in this case, say 5%, you're going to multiply that loss by 5. And so that becomes a 25% loss. Up here, 25, well, you can't even go that high. Up here, a 20% loss, 19% loss, that's where it becomes a 100% percent loss because you're multiplying it by five again so whatever money you put into that trade you would lose all of it uh, and that's called a liquidation so it's very very risky but again this is where the skill comes in this is where you actually try and you know properly understand where you are position yourself safely and exercise risk management and then these things just aren't really such a big problem anymore it's all on bybit right here and it's all covered inside of that free video and i want to show you more examples of how this looks right now because obviously bitcoin's in quite a bearish trend and so if it does manage to rise up again we could be looking at reaching more resistance this very same ema ribbon that has a spread on the four hour time frame right now offering us resistance between 41,000 and 39,000. so naturally if we manage to rise up into that range and you expect that we're going to find resistance from it again this could be another potential short opportunity on the daily time frame resistance is a little bit higher it's all the way up in the mid forty thousand dollar range but still definitely something to keep note of and there's a lot of other indicators we can use as well like the four hour ichimoku cloud giving us resistance in the same range if we end up trending into this area by the end of january 2022 on the one hour time frame this resistance cloud is even lower down at the thirty-eight thousand dollar range but again the same overall point applying where people who have generally just been shorting reaction rallies have been able to make money on the market dropping it doesn't mean that it's foolproof but obviously what you don't want to be doing is sitting in a market like this losing money constantly just watching yourself having a lower and lower net worth lower and lower bankroll every single day and not being able to do anything about it i'm not saying that you should do this but at least to know how these things work i think is very very important because again i gotta refer you back to that quote bulls make money bears make money pigs get slaughtered we're not trying to be pigs here. We're trying to be the ones that are gaming the market when it's going up, gaming the market when it's going down, so that naturally, obviously, I think Bitcoin's going to go back up to, to its all-time highs again. I've sat through these cycles a lot, so I'm not scared of this at all. And the thing is, is if Bitcoin manages to go back up here, and up here I had one Bitcoin, I want to be making more Bitcoins on the way down and more Bitcoins on the way up, so that the next time Bitcoin goes back up to its all-time high, if it does, because nothing is guaranteed, but if it does, I want to have two Bitcoins up here, not one, which naturally means that I'm going to have a lot more profit. I'm going to have uh, actually, uh, you know, more than double the profit that I would have otherwise had because I'm staying working while the market is dropping, accumulating more Bitcoin as we rise up as well, and that way I'm richer when we get back to the top um, you know, if of course we do, because again, I, I got to make it clear that nothing is guaranteed, but I'm very, very certain that we will. Uh, and so that I think is a very, very profitable strategy to keep in mind as the market turns very bearish for potentially a significant amount of time. 
I don't think it will. You guys already know my thoughts on this, but I wanted to put this on your radar right now where you can actually, you know, do some quite impressive things if you look at leveraging our positions and selling. And I just want to take a quick moment to explain to you exactly how this works, right? Because a lot of people are wondering, well, how does shorting actually work? And what's happening here is that uh, again, what you're doing is you're going to this exchange and you're saying, look, I want to sell Bitcoin that I don't own yet, which means that you're uh, you, you're basically taking out, uh, for lack of a better word, again, it's not precisely what you're doing, but only so you understand it, I'm going to use these words that we very commonly use, uh, is you're going to essentially take out a loan to uh, buy Bitcoin and then immediately sell it, which means that you owe Bitcoin to the exchange. Uh, and, and then if the price drops lower, what you've done here is you've sold it, let's say at $40,000. If the price drops lower, you can buy that Bitcoin back at 35,000. And that spread, that difference is what you multiply by your leverage amount. So for example, in this case, that's uh, a $5,000 spread. If you went short with one Bitcoin, if you multiplied that with say 5X leverage, that becomes a $25,000 spread. You get to keep that and you give the exchange back the one or in this case the five bitcoins that you borrowed at the beginning that's what we're trying to do here so i'm going to give you another example with actually using the chart where essentially what we're trying to do here is you know the exchange is giving you and let's use very round numbers we got a hundred thousand dollars up here look at the price and we got uh eighty thousand this might be difficult with the math uh but what i'm saying here is that bitcoin rises up to a hundred thousand dollars and i'm selling bitcoins that i don't own uh, I'm, I'm basically taking, let's say five Bitcoins from the exchange worth $500,000 total. I'm only putting in $100,000 of my capital. If Bitcoin then drops down to 80,000, I still owe the exchange the five Bitcoins that I sold up here. And so all I'm doing is I'm buying them back at the low. By buying them back, I'm effectively going long, which means I'm buying Bitcoin. Long and buying means the same thing, short and selling means the same thing. Uh, I've sold up here, so I'm buying those Bitcoins back. I've got five Bitcoins here. I give them back to the exchange, but the difference is $20,000, which means that I'm pocketing that difference multiplied by five because that was my selected leverage number. You can see how that's really, really powerful. It works in the same way when we trend upwards and it's actually a little bit easier to understand. If, for example, I'm trading Bitcoin from $20,000 up to $30,000, I could decide that I want to open a five times leverage long over here, which means that if Bitcoin manages to rise up by, in this case, say 20%, I make five times that. I'm essentially borrowing again. I'm borrowing again, let's say five Bitcoins at a price of $20,000, but I'm only putting in uh, $20,000 of my own money. So I'm borrowing the remaining 80K. That's five times leverage. And all I have to do is at some point, I have to give those five Bitcoins back to the exchange. And so I can decide to do that when the price is way up over here. And this functions just like a mortgage. This is exactly how a mortgage functions, where you're putting in a down payment. And then if the asset, the house appreciates in value, you get to keep that asset appreciation and you just have to give back the initial borrowed amount which in this case would be $80,000. And so if Bitcoin manages to rise up to 30,000, I'm going to ride the gain of having five times 30,000 Bitcoins, which is $150,000. But I've only put in $20,000 of my own. I need to give back the initial cap, which would be about $100,000. And I get to keep 50K instead of just keeping 10K. That is the power of leverage. You know, we're holding one Bitcoin. I would only make $10,000 if Bitcoin rises up to the 30K range. In this case, I'm holding five Bitcoins. And so I'm making five times that gain. But of course, like I said, if you end up dropping by more than 20%, uh, or around 20%, you get liquidated because that loss also gets multiplied by five. This is where things get really, really risky. I'm giving you a very broad, broad overview of how this works. But again, I've explained it in a lot more detail inside of this video. So I'm just going to link it up again. Make sure you take a look at it to get the full scoop of exactly what's going on. But I wanted to bring this to your attention right now because you guys need to know about how other people are making money in these markets right now. This is how I'm looking to play the market as well. Like I said, I've been doing this for 
many, many years. And if you want to be able to watch me trading these markets in real time, because I've already got uh, about six positions, actually, and I don't trade super frequently compared to what a lot of people think, right? A lot of people think I'm trading every single day. That's not the case. I only trade perhaps once or twice a week. I mean, I'm, I'm very, very safe with what I'm doing here because this is a risky thing to do. Uh, you know, if you want to watch how I plan on trading these markets, then click on the first link in the description down below. That is going to take you to my free Telegram channel where you can um, get even more free analysis from me, uh, you know, from myself and my team pinged straight to your phone. Obviously, these YouTube videos, I'm only usually doing one or two of them per day, but the market is moving 24 seven. And so the only way I can effectively reach you with much more uh, efficiency is if I'm writing text posts to you. And the way I can send them to you is through the Telegram app. So it's the first link in the description down below. By the way, if you're a trader and you don't have Telegram, I don't know what you're doing. You're shooting yourself in the foot. You must be on Telegram. If you're a trader, click on the first link in the description down below. That's going to take you to the uh, free Telegram channel, Four Flies Gold. If you don't want to pay for anything, you can stop right there. But if you do want to join Four Flies VIP, where you can watch me trading in real time and get access to every single bit of information about how I trade, as well as tutorials of how I do everything from trading to analyzing to managing my psychology from A to Z. You can gain access to those things by clicking on the first link in the, um, I'm sorry, yeah, first link in the description, then the at four flies button at the bottom of any post, and then send message to ask me how to join four flies VIP. And we'll give you all of that information straight away. This puts you in a direct chat with me. You can explain to me your situation. We can even set up a phone call with a member of my sales team if you're interested. And uh, we can see if, uh, you know, you would actually be a good fit for four flies VIP. Uh, I'm going to cut the shit straight away. This is a serious investment. But if you are serious about what you're doing, and you actually want to be able to watch how someone like myself has been navigating these markets now for years, uh, then please do jump inside and find out what's going on. There's a huge, huge discount running right now, because we price everything in Bitcoin. And of course, Bitcoin is down by nearly 50%. And so you're effectively getting half price off what our usual prices were. So do take advantage of it. If you're interested, Again, if you found this video interesting, but you want more, this is the only video to watch. And I used to charge a lot of money for content like this. You're now getting it completely free of charge. And it is a phenomenal video. It's changed and made a lot of traders. So please, please do check it out. Uh, if you do want to take advantage of that free content. And with that, guys, hope you have enjoyed this one. You know what to do. If you have hit up the likes, subscribe, tick the bell, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.